All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video, and a lot of people have been talking lately about this monster, the 628% attack buff Master Roshi, right? So a lot of people want to see him in the Punching Machine event, plus I did need to do another video on that event anyways, because there were three new stages added to the Punching Machine event, and there was a number of missions that were available to be completed. Now, I've already beaten those, but I didn't actually do uh, a video on the strategy to go ahead and beat those. So I figured, you know, while you know using Master Roshi, we could try this. Um, I'll probably, if we aren't able to get max damage with Roshi in this video, uh, what I'll do is we'll go into, I'll probably make a, a separate video uh, to show the strategy to get stage, you know, uh, 6, 5, and 4 completed. In stages 1, 2, and 3, you still can't use items, and they're still, like, ridiculous, right? So, let's go ahead, let's hop into stages uh, 6, 5, and 4, and uh, we'll try and get this done. So, the best update they definitely did to the Punching Machine event is they gave us the nuking leaders right here. So we don't have to worry about friends having them set, which is really, really helpful. Uh, here was the team that I used to actually beat the Punching Machine event. Uh, I got the max damage with this team right here uh, using LR Goku and Frieza, you know, Kibu, Turles, uh, Tech Tien. I don't think it even really mattered, and even only like one of the supports was good enough. Uh, the team we're going to use today is this one right here. Uh, now, because we can use items, items are going to be very, very important, right? So the first item we're going to pick, I believe, is the purple poire item. Uh, because this will change all orange spheres uh, to purple. And then we'll grab the tech oolong item because that changes all purple to green. Uh, the next item that I guess we can grab is the world tournament announcer right here. This will give tech types a 30% attack buff, which is really, really nice. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And then the last item we want is actually the most important of all. This is, uh, I think it's like the, the teriyaki or whatever this item is called. Here, what is this exact item called? Let me get the name correct before uh, continuing on. This is, yeah, I believe it's the teriyaki or whatever. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, so this basically gives us more attack per tech orb obtained. So the strategy is we basically just need a good rotation, right? We just need a good rotation. Uh, the Russian roulette tak takoyaki, I believe. <laughs> uh, I'm not good with pronouncing stuff. But um, the, the strategy, right? We need a good amount of tech orbs. Uh, I'd say about half the field or so. Uh, then, of course, using the World Tournament Announcer plus the uh, the Russian Roulette Takeoki item allows us to do just insane damage. Okay, so we have Roshi in the first slot, um, and with no support type units on top of that. Okay, um, I might I might put the Tech TN in here as well, rather than one of these orb changers. Let's just see what we're working with here. So we could change the purple to tech I, I guess i guess let, let's just go with it uh, i don't mind using up some of these items i mean even though like the world tournament announcers i was actually just surprised to see how few of those i have only like 180 it's because they're not in the baba shop that's why uh i think with the um boma event we'll be able to get some of those okay so here let, let's use the world tournament announcer okay so then i'm gonna have this goku go ahead and attack and I'm going to uh, get rid of this red orb right here. That, I just want to get rid of that red orb, right? Now, at this point, I'm going to use the Russian Roulette Takeyoki, which randomly changes orbs to tech and gives you 5% attack per tech orb. So if we're lucky, it'll change the blue. Uh, it didn't. Okay, so it didn't change anything. Uh, sometimes it'll try and change orbs that have like already been changed, so that didn't really help out too much. Um, okay, so let's see what Roshi will get on this rotation right here. Uh, okay, so he's up to 12 million. That's very good. I think... Okay, so wow. he All right. 32 million. There was still a lot of orbs we did not change right there. And then on top of that, we had no support type unit on the rotation, right? So we easily could get way higher than the 32 million. Here's one good thing about Master Roshi, right? He gets a guaranteed crit. So it will always be a crit, which is really 
really helpful. I'm thinking, I, you know what? I think what we're going to do, I think I'm going to put the Tech TN in place of either Android 18 or... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in instead of Android 18. I'm gonna bring in uh, the tech 40% uh, support TN because it, it, it's just so important to have multiple support type units uh, around for Roshi. You know, with that we sh I don't know if we'll be able to get 99 million, but we certainly should be able to break I don't know 60 million, 70 million maybe. It, it depends on how you know solid the rotation goes. So let's go ahead and swap. Uh, our boy TN into the rotation uh, and we'll see how this will be able to affect things so I want to head over to this squad right here uh, let's go ahead and get rid of 18 and we'll bring in tech TN so if we could just get Roshi on a rotation with two support units we are good to go um, okay so we have Roshi are you kidding me this is why the punching machine this is why <laughs> this is why uh, for months, I didn't even do the punching machine event. It's so annoying. Roshi is in slot one, and our three support units are in slots five, six, and seven. Thank you, Dokkan. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. All right, so that's just a completely worthless run. I, I don't... I mean, I guess maybe I could have hopped onto the field to see how the, you know, the orbs would, would fare with us, you know. We could get really lucky uh, with, you know, the Takioki item or whatever. That item is obtained through the Beerus event, by the way. And I already know, I could hear everyone screaming, you know, where is the Beerus event? On JP, they made the update to where you could buy the Beerus and Vegeta medals from the Baba Shop permanently, no matter what, they're always available. But on Global, that has not been added yet. So, you know, Global players are still going to have to wait a bit longer for that update. But, you know, you can also get this item from that event. Um, okay, so we... Are you kidding me? What? Again? D uh, so, three runs in, and we have not had a rotation where Roshi's had any support type units. Like, that's, that's just... That's very frustrating. That's very, very annoying. Um... Okay. I'm actually just gonna back out. That's... Come on. <laughs> Don't... God, why? This... Oh! <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's all right. We, we, we still have three runs to go. Certainly. You know, there, there's just, there's no way we're just not going to get, like, even one support type unit. All three of those support type units are ridiculously powerful. Even just one would be fine on the rotation with Roshi, and we're going to be good to go. Okay, so, the, the, see, there we go. There we go. Okay, okay. So, that's a lot better. So, we have the Tech TN uh, on the same uh, rotation as Roshi. Plus, we have that Super Saiyan Blue Goku who has Fierce Battle. That's obviously an attack link that Roshi does have. So that is good. Um, okay. Uh, the only thing is, there's a lot of trash key on the field. So let's go ahead and do this. And then let's do this. And then hopefully uh, the we, we can get some, some good changes right here. I already forgot what the, the poor item, what, what it changes. But oh well. Uh, I guess, so I guess we want the Takioki to change the red spheres for sure, huh? If it does, we'll have nearly the whole field, which will be very, very good. We'll go ahead and activate the World Tournament item, giving Roshi 30% attack. Change the STR orbs, please, baby. That's all we need. STR orbs. Oh, man. We're just getting really, really unlucky. This is... Oh, my God. This is why... The, the, <laughs> the punching machine event drives me batty because, like, you just need so many things to go your way. It's always annoying when you're doing events that have, like, these limited, like, you know, sort of, like, times you could do it, right? Like, you can only do the events uh, two times per day. It, it just can get very frustrating because, like, so much of the luck just revolves around what the starting rotation is. Like, that, like that's the most important thing. And, like, you know, if we can't get, like, a couple support type units with Roshi or something like that, you know, it, it could be very, very annoying. Um, so, I mean, so far the max damage we've gotten was 32 million. That's not, that's not good enough. I, I, I wanted, I know we could easily get, like, at least a 60 plus million damage uh, attack here. Um, okay, so this could be good because we'll have, Roshi's in the second slot, so we'll have a full turn to sort of grab any random key spheres that are here on the map and get rid of them. That could be helpful. 
Uh, we don't need to change the purple ones. So, I know what we'll do. So, we'll do this. Um. Hmm. And I, I guess I guess we'll just do this. Whatever. That. And then, sure, we'll hit this right there. Okay. So, now in the next turn, uh, we'll be able to change a number of these over to tech orbs. We do have Turles. So, Turles is going to be really good, right? Because... Turles will be able to give the 40% support to Roshi, but he's also going to be able to activate a uh, fierce battle with Roshi. Uh, and then we have that other uh, Goku. Uh, that blue Goku, he changes rainbow orbs to uh, tech, I believe. Um, okay, so we could do this. Let me... Okay, 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 I see what we'll do. So we'll do that right there, and then I can get rid of this red orb. Bam, okay. So now we'll go ahead and start changing some of these orbs. I believe that changes the orange to purple, right? Perfect. And then that will change the purple to tech. So now we're looking really good. Uh, if Again, if we could just get this to change the blue orbs, this is the run right here. All we need is the Takeyoki to hit the blue orbs, and that's going to get us a lot of extra tech spheres. So just get us the blue orbs. So when I got the 99 million, obviously with LR Goku and Frieza, it was much easier than this. Um, but I did get lucky on it. Yup. Okay, there we go. So, okay. This, we're going to get all but three orbs. There's nothing we could do. There's three orbs we're not going to be able to get. But that's pretty damn good. Okay. So this is going to be a lot of damage. We might actually get close to 99... I think this is 99 million, actually. <laughs> and be gone, thought. No, 79 million. Oh, okay. I mean, as you guys can see, that would have been good enough for the first three stages, right? We weren't quite able to get 99 million, but there we go. That was a really good run because we had the Takeyoki change the AGL orbs, which opened up basically the whole field. So, Roshi was able to get to 79 million. Very, very good. So, as you guys can see, uh, Roshi, I mean, theoretically, right? Well, no, because the, remember, the Takeyoki and then the World Tournament announcer drastically raised Roshi's damage. So, I don't necessarily think Roshi could get the... What do you need in the first three stages? 77 million, right? I, I imagine only LR, Goku, and Frieza... And uh, LR Gohan are still capable of getting the 77 million uh, in the first stage. Just just for, for shits and giggles, let me hop back into this last run. Uh, except, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, let's hop back into this last run. Let's just see what we can get. Uh, so, okay, well, <laughs> Roshi is in the seventh slot. So, this is a dead run. But there you go, guys. We were able to get up to a damage of 79 million. Very, very impressive. Keep, keep, very impressive. Keep in mind that my Roshi is uh, at the Rainbow Star level, right? That is very important to remember. But, you know, we were still able to get a good amount of damage. You know, even though he wasn't able to get the 99 million, getting 79 million would still get you a lot of stones, a lot of orbs, and a lot of zenny from the mission rewards. Uh, I love this unit. I love what they did. They He's so goofy, but he is great. The 628% attack buff is basically a nuke that you can choose to do at any time. He was very good on Super Battle Road. I'm sure at some point in like an EZA event, he could be very good, uh, You know, depending on how many categories he gets. you know, Right now, he's only on one category, even though he should be in the Seekers of the Dragon Ball category as well. He's very good defensively as well. You know, he's able to get, get the guaranteed stun with the big attack buff. He, You know, he does seals on super attack. So he's a very, very formidable unit. Uh, this was kind of fun. I'm glad we were able to get out that 79 million uh, damage. You know, the guaranteed crit certainly does make it possible. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of the 628% attack buff Master Roshi. And I will catch y'all next time.